Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, a.k.a. Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again. Back with another Ball in the Budget Tech review, y'all. This is going to be something a little different. As you can see, and I talked about over the last couple weeks, um, I wanted to do a Ball in the Budget uh, computer build. And I've been working on this one, trying to figure out what was going to be the best scenario for this, and... You know what? After going through a bunch of stuff, doing a straight out build wasn't gonna be financially feasible. That's not ball on the budget. And it's not something that everybody can do. But however, I have found the perfect in-home solution, but I'm not doing this one alone. Um, and this computer is not actually gonna be for me. This computer is gonna be for the man that's gonna pop up behind me right now. Hi, this is my son Denali, as you probably know him from- I'm not my, I'm a There you go, your Yay. Twitch channel. Prince Denali 407. It is live in the building. You better check that out. Um, but yeah, we're going to do this build, me and him together. We have a couple different things that how, ways of how we did this. So let me show you what we got in the store. So what me and Denali are putting together. Uh, we have found a computer that is on sale, possibly even clearance, depending on where you can get it from. Uh, it is the HP M01 dash zero 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 one four or six um the one six is the one oh no the one four is the one that has like 12 gigabytes of memory the one six is the one that you can find at office depot on sale for 399 which is what we got and of course we needed a monitor for the situation so we found ourselves a monitor that was less than a hundred dollars at office depot that was on sale as well um and we're gonna throw this thing together kind of show you how it looks and why it can also be a functioning game computer as well as a home computer for everyone. So stay tuned, check it out. So, so, so everybody that knows me and what I was trying to do, I was trying to put together a Ryzen 5 based computer. Now, when I tried to put this thing together, it just wasn't coming out the way that I wanted to budget wise. I was still ending up within the late, early 500s, almost late 500s going into the $600 range, even for a smallish budget bill. But I really hit the nail on the head this time. I wanted this Ryzen 5 3400G, which the HP M01 F0016 has. I have the eight gigabytes of RAM, which is what I wanted. It comes with a 256 gigabyte solid state drive, which is perfect because then we can expand it out if we need to. Uh, also comes with Wi-Fi built in, Bluetooth built in, uh, with MU MIMO supported. It's a nice jet black finish, has a DVD burner on it. Uh, comes with the media card reader, the headphone microphone combo, four 2.0 USB ports, which those are in the back, the 3.1s are in the front. Um, a generation one 3.1 and then it has an HDMI out. Uh, this has an onboard AMD Radeon RX Vega 11 graphics, USB black wire keyboard and mouse, so it comes with that, but we're gonna switch out the keyboard with one of my ball on the budget gaming keyboards. Um, Windows 10 built in, uh, you get the free uh, Dropbox storage, McAfee Live Safe, but we're gonna probably throw one of the free antiviruses on there. Um, again, normally this computer is a $500, $600 computer. Right now, it is on sale for uh, $399. Just for, the, just for the computer, this box right here with everything in it. And we're gonna pop this thing open. Also, pop open the computer to show you the guts and everything that's inside of it as well. This right here is the keyboard. Like I said, a nice, solid HP keyboard. We're gonna throw it in just to get it started, but we're gonna use one of the ball on the budget gaming uh, keyboards that we have. So no worries about that. It's really high quality. Yeah, nice high quality right there. We have, which looks like the cables and everything. Uh, power cable. Looks like, yep, and the moose over there as well. A few screws, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take a look at that. Put that over there. And then the coup de gras, the computer itself. Real simple box. Probably gonna have to hold that for a second. Oh, yes, I'm going to hold that. There you go. Keep pointing down. I'm not the best camera, so. All right, there we go. Small package. Oh, drop my Apple Watch. <laughs> this guy's going. This guy's going. Oh my God. Hey, hold on. That, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it right there. Oh, okay. Hold on. It, this is a lot of stuff. Oh God. Oh. All right. 
That's why you should have put it down first here. Right. Anyways, <laughs> so everything looks to be intact from what I can see. Um, besides me dropping the mouse. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> Mice are cheating. <laughs> Ooh, we got we got the box. Now, wait, I thought this was just the computer. This is the computer. It's the box. It's the computer. I know it's a box, but it doesn't like... So, for a little tutorial, because my son is in shock. Hi, shock Hello. son. Hello. So this is a, a desktop computer. A desktop computer. So let me kind of explain how this works. So, this is a computer that goes on a desk. Can you take this with you? No. Oh, I'm shaking. Can you take this computer? No. This stays where it stays and then that's it. You leave it alone. It's a desktop computer. You get it? Got it? Yep. Good. Okay. Desktop computer. Yay. No. I'm gonna throw the glasses on now. Time to get into nerd mode. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna check out the guts of these things. Let's go. All right, so we popped the side of this bad boy open. Looks like our uh, DVD writable drive is right there at the top. We go deeper in here. There is our hard drive. I don't wanna touch anything. Right there. I'm gonna either, it's a hard I'm either gonna right break there. something or it's gonna shock me. No, you're fine. Um, there's your PCIe, your 16, uh, your 16 slot PCIe card, which we're, that's going to be important for what we're about to talk about in a second. This right here is the PCI one slot, which you can use this to expand, um, if you choose to, but that's another conversation that we're going to talk about in a second. Um, there's the AMD processor with the heat sink. Um, RAM looks like it's right there. Eight gigabytes of RAM in there. Hold on, open up the blinds, please. There you go. Oh. Uh, all right, so there's your eight gigabytes of RAM right there. Nice little mini little PC. And here's the power supply right here. Now, the power supply that this in this thing is 180 watt power supply. So we're gonna talk about all of this in just a moment. And it, uh, well, lastly but not least, we have another cooling fan right there. All, the, all in all, a nice little tight knit little slot. And there's room for expandability. And I wanna talk about expandability in just a moment. Let me get this thing closed. Let's have a couple conversations here. First and foremost, the conversation I wanna have with y'all, to y'all computer people out there, which I know before this video even gets halfway through, that y'all gonna be like, but James, but Hollywood, you used a, a, a manufactured PC and you, you didn't use a custom build and all that and blah, 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 blah. Hush. I'll explain to you why I did what I did in the first place. So again, I priced this thing out and I'm gonna see if I can find a little thing I can put into the video. A little price, little thing right here. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna just show y'all, forget it. I'm gonna just show you on my laptop exactly how I put this together and how much this shit was gonna cost. All right, so let's take a look at this real quick. So we have the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G, bam. The processor by itself is $150. The, uh, the board, motherboard with Wi-Fi on it. And this, this is a gaming motherboard with Wi-Fi. This is probably the cheapest gaming motherboard with Wi-Fi already built in. And that is 130 some dollars. So right there, I have already would have spent $270. Eight gigs of memory is $33.99. Um, the 256 uh, gigabyte um, solid state drive, and this, that's the NV NVMe solid state drive is 37. Uh, for the case is 49. The Cooler Master Elite, the 400 watt is 51 bringing your grand total to about $453. So, by going the route that I did off top, and this is not even considering the fact that I have to buy a Windows license, and I'm not trying to do no crooked stuff or whatever the case may be. This is this is 453 just for the hardware. We're not talking about Windows licenses. We're not talking about software. We're not talking about any of that. So off top, for, the, for $53 less, um, without having me ship, picking up at my office depot, I was able to get some cash. And then for the uh, $100 on a monitor, which we're gonna talk about this monitor in just a second, it is a hell of a deal. Monitor right here, the AOC, which is a, a highly regarded company from what I've dealt with. They have a set of monitors. This is, they do gaming monitors and they do office monitors. This is 
somewhere in between. It is a higher end office monitor with low end gaming style specs. The 27 V3H AOC 27 inch LCD monitor um, is a heck of a deal. So like, listen, I'm with it. We're gonna check it out and I'm gonna show you exactly how this thing works. So while I'm working on this video, I wanna talk to the other thing about long-term longevity, uh, future expansion, things of that nature, right? So a lot of people were worried about the cost comparison of getting a cheaper processor um, and getting a cheaper board and you still have gaming because then you can do your streaming and stuff like that on the other end. I need to kind of clarify this for those that are gonna ask that question. I don't care about streaming. In fact, the computer itself is gonna be the streaming thing that deals with Twitch for my son's streams. This is the whole reason why we got the computer to begin with. The 3400G is a very capable processor. The board is gonna be able to handle a 16 pin graphics card. Um, you probably have to get the, uh, a, 10, a 1050 or a 1060, um, slide it right in. But the thing is that everybody was worried about with the power supply. And so I did look into that. And it's, it, was, it will need a new power supply because the current power supply, I think I said alluded to earlier in the video, is 180 watts. You will need a power supply. Probably the next one up from HP is a 400 watt, but HP has a 400 watt one for about $50, $60 on HP website. So when it does come to that, if we say, you know what, we're gonna go all gaming with this PC, that's fine. But as it is, based off of the reviews and everything everybody's done on the computer itself, well, not the computer, on the processor itself, this is gonna be very capable for what we need it to do. It, a, a computer that will compute and play games if we have to. That's what we were searching for and that's what we found. So everything is set up. We're now potato camming uh, some of the gameplay. Using, we're playing Halo Reach on here. My son's playing Halo Reach. Hello. How you doing, sir? Hello. How are you doing? How do you like your computer setup? I really love it, actually. It's very useful. Yeah? Um, yeah. So, a couple things that we did notice with this setup. Um, I understand the process where everybody was talking about that you're going to need a graphics card if you're planning to record gameplay. Streaming hasn't been a problem uh, yet, although we still have to test that, and we might have to drop the output if we do decide to stream. Um, however, it does show a lot of lag when we've tried to record gameplay using the Xbox proprietary software, which is gonna be something we, we'll, we'll explore a couple different options. But considering that we are gonna do some significant upgrades to this thing, I'm not too worried. Again, the, uh, the HP power supply is what we're gonna go with. We found the power supply that this is actually gonna work with. So no stress on that. Like I said, getting in really close. You see how nice and clear it is. Hold on, pause it for a second. So, there you go. That's what I need to bring back, resume. So up there, we're using ATI's proprietary software. I'm sorry. I'm very upset. I'm sorry. We're using ACI's proprietary software uh, for clocking the, G, uh, the GPU and finding out how many frames. Um, Halo Reach is kicking off in about 36 frames. Uh, it's using the whole graphics processor. We've really pushed this thing to the limit, and I've turned every setting that I can on high. I probably can turn all the settings down to medium and probably get better results, but I needed to see where, where this was going to go. Um, and this is where we've gotten so far. I actually like how this looks. To me, I wish you guys could be here. I wish I wasn't potato cam again. Um, I'll even try to get the clip from the potato cam to show you the difference with the lagging and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. But yeah, that's about where we are. So it is officially done. Everything is set up. I even hooked them up with some... Uh, LED lights uh, for the low low on Amazon and this is what it is now before uh, before we go into anything else I want to talk about what the plan is for this PC check it out all right so the goal 
with what I was trying to do with this computer. To come up with something that is gonna last a while, about five years, six years, still good with games. Um, mainly can function as a standard computer, but if needed to, can function as game, as a game computer. The Ryzen 5 3400G processor to me is probably the best value that you can get without having to invest in the graphics card. Now, are we gonna want a graphics card if we wanna get into intensive games and stuff like that? Yeah, we're going to need that. However, the way that it's set up right now, eight gigabytes of memory, and I could probably throw another eight gig stick in there and that gives you 16 gigabytes of memory. Upgrade the hard drive, throw a terabyte 2.5 hard drive in there. Change out the power supply so I can eventually get myself a, um, a, a graphics card in the PCIe 16 slot. With all that said, this is probably as good as it gets for $400. Or a little bit more because I had to buy the monitor. But I didn't necessarily need a monitor, but I made a monitor happen. Um, the only problem I have with the monitor is that it was advertised as a FreeSync monitor. Um, by default, it didn't come with it, and FreeSync wasn't enabled. I had to finagle with the ATI settings, and lo and behold, I said ATI because that's what Radeon used to be, uh, AMD Radeon settings. Um, and lo and behold, I was able to use FreeSync on the monitor. Was it the best experience? It left a little bit to be desired for, but that's fine. The main goal of what I was trying to do for under $500 was basically three things. Um, get a computer that I can upgrade to make it a stellar game system. And I bet you within the next six months or so, I'll get the three parts necessary that I need in order to turn this thing into a beast. Not to worry, it can handle that. Second, peace of mind. Uh, where... I don't have to worry about this because the product's warrantied for a year, and if I can, I can, uh, it, you know, warranty it for out for three years if I need to, if I need to expand on it, that's fine too. The third thing, which I thought was most important though, is can you get something better for the price that I pay at full at full five hundred dollars? You saw in the, earlier in the video, I priced the thirty four hundred G system out. That's uh, without, it was about 430, 460 for, for the computer itself. That's not including taxes, and that's getting everything shipped to you. I also priced out, uh, you know, Windows. You're gonna have to pay 100 bucks for it. I mean, there are shady places to get Windows. I do or don't believe, and you can do however you wanna do with that. But yeah, that's the price to be paid for that. You're gonna have to get a monitor. There's a price to be paid for that. Most people would've had to come out six plus in order to get what I got for four, for four, five, for five hundred dollars, six plus easily. If you got to throw on a monitor, a decent monitor, and this is a twenty-seven inch monitor. This isn't no ranty, anti, Rudy Pooh candy ass monitor. This is a twenty-seven inch, ten eighty p monitor. I love it. It's like I said, I don't need no four K. We don't need none of that. I got four K TVs everywhere in the house. This is it. This is good. I'm happy with this. My son's gonna be happy with this. Um, and if you take a look around and try to price it out, the same specs, I'm talking about the same exact 3400G specs on the board that has Wi-Fi built in, Bluetooth built in, all that good stuff built in, you're not gonna find something for that price. You're gonna have to pay a lot more. Like I said, this is good. We're not PC gamers. We play on PC, but we're not PC gamers hardcore. This is not a video for the hardcore people. And, I, and, I, and if you were looking for a hardcore video, I'm sorry, but this HP M01-00014, or 16, I'm sorry, is the best deal going, bottom line, point blank. So if you like what you see and you have any questions, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, follow us on Sinful Black TV. You know I'm always down to entertain y'all. We got the sports shows coming. Everything else popping off on the, show, on, the on the channel. So don't you worry about that, but excuse me. I'm gonna get into some Halo.